Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with artichoke gratin. Usually this is done in a big casserole dish, but I'm doing individual artichoke heart gratin. This makes a great appetizer, very cool. Also, it could be a side dish. So what we're going to use for this is artichoke hearts packed in water. I prefer the ones that come in a jar like this versus the can. These also have a little bit of the stem attached, which is nice. These are from Trader Joe's. So to find these, you want to check at the fancier grocery store chains, or if you're in a big city, go check Italian markets, Greek markets, but you're looking for artichoke hearts. So the prep on this is really simple. You're simply going to cut the artichoke hearts in half and then place them face down, all right, cut side down on some paper towels to drain for at least 15 minutes. Very important, all that liquid gets absorbed by the paper. We need dry artichoke hearts for this to work really well. All right, so once those have drained, I'm going to put those on a slightly oiled, foiled sheet tray. I'm going to kind of nestle them up together so they all sit flat because I want that broiler heat to hit them all evenly. I'm going to season those with salt and black pepper. All right, so after they're seasoned, we're going to use plain, fine, dry breadcrumbs. And we're talking about maybe half a teaspoon on each. All right, so that's the first layer. That's going to kind of fuse with the remaining moisture in the artichoke to sort of make like a little layer of stuffing, sort of. All right, so after the breadcrumb goes down, freshly grated Parmesan cheese, the real stuff, the Reggiano Parmesan from the expensive cheese section. Do not use fake cheese. By the way, when's the last recipe we did where I said, you know what, use the fake cheese? Go ahead. All right, I'll never say that. Always get the real Parmesan. All right, and last but not least, a little drizzle of olive oil, just a few drops on each, just to make it a little more broiler friendly. We're going to put our broiler on high. We are going to preheat it, and we're going to place those artichoke hearts under the broiler about five or six inches away from the heat until they're done. I'll give you a time because, you know, you get all nervous if I don't. I'm going to say mine took about seven minutes, but it's going to depend. And there they are, sizzling away, bubbling away, broiling away. I find it very, very exciting to watch. But then again... I don't have a lot going on. And that's it. Beautiful, incredibly delicious artichoke heart gratin. These make a great past hors d'oeuvre. Or like I said, you could just use these as a side dish for a steak, piece of chicken, whatever. And I'm going to present mine on this deviled egg tray, which I think looks kind of cool, with a little fresh lemon in the middle. You probably have a deviled eggs tray, and you're not making deviled eggs for the party because, you know, those are so overdone. They are like the bacon of eggs. Now, this could be finger food, but depending on how dainty your friends are, you may want to put out some toothpicks, you know, just to make it look good. And there we go. Man, was that delicious. These are perfect warm or room temperature. Not so great cold, not so great piping hot, because people will get annoyed when they, you know, burn the roof of their mouth. So let them cool down a little. Now, of course, if you want to fancy these up, maybe some hot pepper, maybe some fresh herb, maybe a different cheese, maybe, I don't know, you tell me. So let me know if you uh, think of any great alterations on this. I really hope you give these a try. All the ingredients are on the site. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.